Today I'm going to talk about my Blackstar 1 watt. Here's why. It's kind of a funny amp because I've owned three of them. Yep, three of them. Sometimes you have to know yourself, understand yourself, and deal with yourself. So here's what happened. Uh, a couple years ago, I asked Fender for, uh, to allow me to come down and get training at the factory and, and see the factory some more and do some stuff, get updated. And they were very nice and let me come. And so I brought a friend of mine uh, who's very skilled at repairing guitars as well. So we both went. Well, after the training, we did what all guitar geeks do. We went to Hollywood and checked out guitar stores. And I tried the Transatlantic and a couple amps and I wasn't feeling anything. I didn't find anything to buy at the GC or the Sam Ash or anything. Um, and I made some boogie store, carbon store, all this stuff. So uh, we were driving home and we somehow went southbound instead of eastbound, got lost. And while we were lost, I did, we did what all guitar geeks do when they're lost. We saw a sign that says, guitar store. So of course, we pulled off the side of the road and went to it because when you're lost, you might as well just go to a guitar store. Saw Blackstar. I'd never seen it in person, but I knew of it. Played it, loved it, bought it, came home, contacted Blackstar, had it put in the shop. Done. Okay. A year later, I went to San Diego. There was a store called Guitar Trader or Guitar World or something. They're out of business, but they were great guys in a great store. They had the Marshall JCM 1 watt. Bought that, came home, got rid of the first Blackstar. Gone. Played the Marshall, loved it. Although it didn't, it, it did sound like this, which is great. It had maybe a little fuller, right? It didn't have uh, a reverb in it, so you had to put it through the effects loop, and that kind of sucks. So it's not like just a little practice perfect amp. And it didn't have the high gain setting. So I got rid of it, and guess what I got? The Black Star again. So my second Black Star. And I was happy again until I came across the JCM Marshall 1 watt amp. Had the high gain. I was like, oh, you know what? I should go with that. Got that. Got rid of the Black Star. After a while, that amp I didn't like because it doesn't have a great clean. It only has the, um, it only had the high gain sound. And uh, they're kind of pricey. You know, just after a while, you're sitting there staring out in your bedroom going, you know, these are pricey. But I do love them. They're great amps. So anyways, long story short, got rid of them. And then recently decided, you know what, I need this amp again. So here it is. So now that I went through that whole story about why I've had three of them, let me show you what it is I love about them. It's not the high gain feature. In fact, that's the feature I don't use very often. Here's what I like. It has a couple controls. Reverb, uh, has an EQ knob, has volume and a gain. I run it on the clean channel, gain at 10. I run the reverb up a little bit and I run the, the, the tone control more to the you know fuller side because it's kind of thin. Using my telly. Now keep in mind, so you know for this, this telly, this telly, which is my standard telly because I have three, uh, this has the BG1400 pickup by Seymour Duncan. It's a custom shop pickup and it is huge sounding. So, so take that into consideration that it's going to kick a little bit. So here it is. This is the clean sound on this amp. So it's got grit, right? So it's got this tone to it that I love. So for blues, it's really dynamic responsive. Now I'm using an Echoplex, but it's a preamp. If you use a, uh, a booster pedal in front of it, you get this tone. got this kind of roar to it. So, uh, it's got the uh, headphone jack, it's got an MP3 player input, it's got a speaker simulator out, all kinds of cool features uh, so that you can see on the reviews. I had to make a modification, it had chrome knobs, I couldn't see the dots, it was driving me nuts, so I put the plastic knobs on it so I could see the lines. Um, it may not look as nice to you, I don't know, I think it looks cooler because it matches, but um, but, uh, you know, mostly it's just because I had to see it. It's a great tone. Now, just for the record, I'm going to show you the metal side. Let's kick the metal. I took the boost off, by the way. And here's the metal. You know, it's got the... You know, to be fair, let's turn it up a little bit. Right, so uh, here's the deal with the Marshalls. Um, I kept coming back to them, kept back coming back to those, you know, this back and forth. But here's what I decided: 
The Marshalls have a foot switch for the two channels, which is nice, but they don't have reverb. You have to put reverb to the effects loop. You have to add a pedal. If you're going to add a pedal, I might as well just have this with a boost because it does everything. Um, here's what I will say. It is an amazing amp when you're practicing at night. It's quiet. It's got the 80s tones. It's got the blues tone. It's got the uh, Zeppelin tone. Right? It's just got the kind of cool tone to it. It's just a great amp. And so I thought I'd talk about it because it's like 250, 200 bucks, depending on where you can find it, right? Um, we I tend to buy them every time they put them on a deal and blow them out of the store, but... Um, uh, but man, what a great amp uh, for that price. It's a price of a boutique pedal. And now you have a little practice amp wherever you go. Uh, they have the combo, although this really does sound bigger with a bigger cabinet. I'm running through a, a Mesa Boogie 112 right now. So something to think about. All right, guys. Thanks for your time. Know your gear. Don't forget to please hit like and subscribe. Uh, I know that's the thing that everybody does at the beginning of these videos. Like, uh, it's just something to do. It just helps me know. Like I said, I'm looking at cameras right now. Somebody gave me some great suggestions. I'm probably going to be updating the camera soon and changing a few things uh, to improve the videos. All right, guys. Thanks for your time. There you go.